Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this uh, January the 10th, 2024. Um, I thought I'd get up early this morning because I got some things to do. I'm running around, handling my business, attempting to get things off the ground, building my foundation, you know, like yada, 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 right, right, right. But I want to come through and say something a little different about or, or put out something a little different this morning and to someone particular, specifically, blah, 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 blah. And I've told you that, um, uh, that our sounds and tones and our energy reaches and um, is picked up by who, you know, those that resonate with you, okay? In other words, um, my sounds and tones resonate with certain people, okay? Just as with any sounds and tones, whether it's music, which is more specifically uh, usually the case, is uh, music. And let me make sure. Yeah, there we go. It's music and it's usually uh, the sounds and tones. And that's why I say it's so important to be careful about your sounds and tones as you're, you know, speaking to people or attempting to communicate with people because those those kind of factors make a big difference. But, uh, you know, it, it may have been over 20 years ago. I'm not going to know. I'm not going to say exactly. I think, I mean, if I look it up, I'll know. Uh, like 20 years ago, there was a, there was a chance encounter with someone. And um, at the time, and I think it may have been twice, you know, there was one chance encounter, and then there was another chance encounter, and then here we are facing each other at this chance en encounter, which is so important uh, because it's, uh, it's at a crucial time. It's at a culmination. It's at a, it's a, you know, we're approaching the dawning of the age of Aquarius and this and that and the other. And those, thi those things are significant, even though they may be, uneventful to some and eventful to others and I've gone into enough of that right and I and I have a lot more to share about that but I want to send this out to one particular person in particular and it, because I sense something okay and I trust it uh, I'm not going to necessarily name you you know you know who you are right and you and you know and if we happen to you know uh, have another chance encounter you know uh, we'll deal with that at that moment, I uh, said on one video there was uh, that something was supposed to. We were expecting a certain type of uh, uh, connection with a certain um, certain human beings. Let's put it that way. We were expecting a certain type of uh, interaction and a, a certain type of uh, connection with certain human beings. And this should have taken place around in the 90s, okay? Let's just say, um, let me just throw out uh, 1995. 1995 um, until the year 2000. There was uh, some series of events that should have taken place, okay? It was uh, something that we were... They say, they say here, uh, and I'm looking on the internet, it says it's the, uh, marking the beginning of the information age, okay? See, these things, there's a lot of things that, that we have within our information, within our history, within our ancestry, within our lineage that signifies a certain cosmic events whether we want to accept it or not, okay? Um, they're, they're nothing like, say, words like Christmas or or Columbus Day, those kind of trendy events. Those are trending events that have really no significance, in my opinion, but I'm not going to go into that. But our planet has has a significance that ties it to cosmic events, whether we want to accept it or not, okay? Because most of the time we're unconscious, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. 
we're not paying attention to our surroundings, we're in our fantasies, we're in our delusions. <clears throat> and so we miss a whole lot of things. Okay, now this these particular visitors were supposed to come forward and, and help us in our development of our planet and the development of our interpersonal relationships and more importantly, the development of our consciousness. Okay, we are consciousness whether we want to accept it or not. Consciousness that is in the material fashion as human beings. Okay, said enough about that too as well. You know, you can check out all of my videos I have on the YouTube channel and I'll have other information spread out all over for those that want to resonate with what I'm saying, who want to assist me in this journey to, you know, to help to repair uh our situations because we have lots of situations that require our immediate immediate attention otherwise a lot of people are going to be swirling in in an abyss forever and whatever that means to you forever um so so it was about is it was about around that time in the 90s 1995 more specifically um, I believe, let me find another event that took place that, um, yeah, I think it, let's see here. Yeah. So I started, <clears throat> let's see when this comes up. Okay, cool. That, that's in alignment with what I'm, what I'm talking about. So, so I have been on a sort of a journey and I, I don't know if I ever called it that for quite a while. That's been, I've documented enough of that. But I just wanted to share something with someone in particular, you know who you are. And I hope my sounds and tones reach you. And I, you know, and I, and I trust that it will, you know. Um, but I just wanted to share something to you about uh, certain situations, which I'm sure you're well, well aware of. Because we are parallel. We're parallel. I know that. As, as well as with others. But you in particular, I just want to address you right now. And say this. that um, So because of the... So as I said, there was a, supposed to be a, ch a, ch a chance encounter or an event, event where we were to meet up with certain human beings that were to assist us. And that had happened around, the, let's say the middle 90s to the year 2000. So the year 2000 was supposed to be, you know, a significant event or up or uh, ushering up to that. And we were concerned about other things in the 90s, but this was something that was uh, scheduled to happen. Well, and I think I said, um, uh, I noticed with me, I started having some issues with my uh, my reality. Meaning, I was um, certain things were happening to me, and I could not understand why they were happening. I thought I was having a mental breakdown, to be honest with you. But now that I think about things, now it was probably like a mental awakening. Something was attempting to awaken inside of me, and I was resisting it. And, and, and thinking that it was something other other than what it was. You know, a lot of times when things happen to us, if we don't have any valid information on it, we'll say that it's some, some type of supernatural event. And, and I'm telling you, it was not. Even though I may have believed that it was, this was an actual uh, consciousness event for me that was happening with me and I'm sure with others. So what happened is, uh, like I said, I was losing a, a bit of a grip on my prescribed reality, meaning the reality that was taught to me by the people around me, by the people that it was supposedly modeling how to be a human being around me. And, and everything was always tied to, to supernatural. You know, if you if you're having this type of dream, it's a supernatural. If you're having this type of dream, it's demonic. If you're having this type of dream, it's you know. So we just always had these type of uh, uh, 
classification of events with people. And a lot of people just don't understand the power of our consciousness. More and so, more importantly, uh, the might and power of our thoughts and also the energy of our thoughts. Okay, a lot of people do not understand that at all. So I'm thankful to the teachers that have I have allowed to come in my life and teach me certain things, Billy Meyer more specifically. But anyway, and I'll go back into all of that stuff. But so, so during those, during that, just like now, during the culmination, when you're about to approach a certain end point, certain events are going to start happening. Certain events are going to start aligning up. Okay, whether that's human beings, or cosmic, environmental, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whether we want to accept it or not. And, mo and for the majority of the planet, nobody wants to accept it. Meaning our power as human beings in the true sense. Okay, because if you are applying the, these factors that I keep bringing up over and over again, being logical, rational, and reasonable, not to mention using all of your sensing, have some abstract in there, ob objective, subjective. I mean, in other words, you're opening yourself up to be a genuine human being in the true sense. There's no extremism about anything. You are li aligned up. It happens. Trust me. More, don't trust me. More importantly, trust yourself to allow it to open up. So, so it was in the 90s where, you know, like, you know, a lot of things were going on, a lot of series of events where I thought I was losing it. <laughs> and so a lot of people will, will, will attempt to, to relay that. You know, that's why um, when I did put myself in counseling, when my counselor said these words, Michelle, you are functioning as a proper human being at the stage of your life. That was it. And I put a video on that too. She, when she said that to me, I knew, okay, you know, there's, there's, there, you, sometimes there is validation in your life. I had a validation when I was a younger woman, when I met some, when I saw someone at an amusement park, I, there was a validation when I put myself into counseling in my early twenties and this, the, and this event that happened between the, in, in the nineties, as they say in the middle nineties before the, two, the year 2000 was significant as well. Okay. And that was more of a, uh, uh, a darkness. Okay. There was a darkness there. Now I told you whether you're in darkness or light, there's opportunity. Okay. You can't attempt to dismiss the darkness and believe and believe that all you are supposed to have is light, light, light. So I, um, um, has some things and I'm also working with the lighting too just playing around with the lighting you know so that I look you know so I'm just playing around with that you know just playing around let me see yeah you know just playing and see how I can yeah it's a little bit too light you know but that's okay I'll, I'll play with this and, you know, get myself in proper lighting, <laughs> which I know that that's important for a lot of people to have them, themselves in proper lighting, but that's fine. I'm good with that. This is just a, that this is a test lighting just in case people wonder, okay, what's different about her? That's what's different. Okay. So anyway, um, so that event that is supposed to have happened, um, and I can remember having these nightmares, well, you know. I mean, these dreams around that time, 95, you know, 90s, say 95 up to the two, year 2000, I can remember having nightmares about stuff. And these nightmares were vivid. It was vivid. And it was disturbing, too, as well. It was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. You know, uh, I remember one dream I had where I got myself up so quickly, and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh. You know, because it, it, was, it, was it was an extreme darkness. And luckily, I managed to relax and um, not not be so concerned whether I was losing it. I knew something that was happening to me was real, but I didn't know what how to put I didn't know the words to put to what was happening to me. That kind of transitioning of my of myself and it was a transitioning of my consciousness preparing me for certain events. So during that time, I was meeting a lot of people. Let me tell you, lots. 
I was like, wow. When I looked at my my um my diaries from the, back then, because you know I used to love to write things down. I, I used to love doing the poems. I thought, you know, I thought I wanted to be a writer. I determined that I do not. I, you know, I, I have writer's block and I think it's permanent. To be a writer is not necessarily what I want to do. I'd rather speak. But anyway, so I remember going through my diary in the, in the 20, 2022, which I told you was a significant year, and, 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 and uh, realizing the number of people I met. And... And uh, in most cases, I don't remember any of them except this particular person and maybe others. But anyway, so what I want to say is that, um, and I attempted to reach out to this person a couple of times, and that's fine. I'm done with that. I'm no, I'm no longer interfering that with that. Um, I'm just going to let it be. And if that person wants to you know, reach out to me later in the future, they can. But it's, it's, it's not necessary. That's, all my, that's my point. That's my point. It's not necessary. We don't need to do. We don't need. To, we don't need to change anything about what we're doing in our lives. Okay. I don't need to be interfering in yours, and you don't have to be interfering in mine, unless that's a mutual uh, agreement. Now, so, um, so again, I met this person. I mean, I met. I met. I was meeting a lot of people, lots of people, and I remember meeting people v via various uh, various means, and that's irrelevant. But I, and I remember this person, <laughs> um, when I met them the first time and then when I met them again the second time. But anyway, my point is this, I want to just say this, that, um, there's no such thing as a coincidence. There's no such thing as chance. You, things are just, you know, no one just comes into your life with it, without there being some type of, you know, it's, it could be an, an adjustment of alignment. Let me see what it looks like when I turn off the light. Yeah, so making me look different in each way. So I just wanted to test that. So um, what I want to say is, like I said, I met a whole lot of people. And uh, in most cases, I don't remember a lot of them either. You know, and that was uh, because there's other factors that was going on with me. And I told you about life-threatening events that were happening to me during that time as well. So I just want to say that, um, yes, I, I, I do remember meeting up with someone that was very interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, <laughs> and um, I can remember uh, thinking to myself, because this person was really young. Let me just put it that way. They were young. And I, I, I have an issue with, um, you know, a lot of people don't have a, have a problem dealing with you know, especially if I'm much older and they're younger, I have an issue with that, especially when I was uh, out and about during those times, you know, date, looking to date people and looking to go out. Uh, I, I, had a, I had a concern about dealing with someone that was, you know, kind of new, in, new into the dating scene kind of thing. And so I, uh, I can remember saying to this person, you know, I think you're just too young for me. And it, um, I could tell this person was pissed off about that. Okay. And then a few years later, I happened to come across this person again. Didn't, I didn't know I did, but I know I, I know that's what happened now that I'm thinking about it clearly and effectively. I met up with this person again, you know, and, uh, um, you know, they matured, I matured and, you know, we were supposed to meet up somewhere and blah, 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 blah. And we, I think we did meet up somewhere. <laughs> and then um, I went my way. They went their way. And I just don't know what happened in between because that's when I started losing a lot of memory. I don't know what happened. Why, why did we, what, you know, why did we go our separate ways like that when we were, because uh, we were communicating for, for so long. You know, it's, so, but anyway, what I want to say to this person is, uh, again, there's no such thing as this, coincidences. You know, we didn't come together for a reason, okay? Uh, it has, uh, I, I cannot remember why, and like I said, I want to one day, I want to one day know, but, you know, that's going to be up to you to decide to share with me. But I just want to say to you that um, I think 
there was a reason why we didn't come together because now you are blowing up all over the world, so to speak. Okay, you know who you are. You know, you, you, you are setting, um, you are modeling this, the kind of behaviors and actions that young people are going to look up to you um, and, and be, uh, be uh, you know, you're going to spread that type of uh, uh, power and confidence and, um, and uh, you know, and you're not going to know the significance of your, of your presence during this time, maybe not until another lifetime. All right, let's just, hey, you know, it does exist. Future personalities out of our lineage does exist, okay? Um, so it was a good thing, I guess, for both of us that we did not come together. Otherwise, we wouldn't be where we are where we are, right? I am where I am, okay? You are where you are. And that sometimes, sometimes that's what alignments do. Alignments will possibly send you, you know, because see, the reason I'm saying it is because we did, we did not prepare ourselves properly for the, 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 uh, the events that should have taken place in the, in the, in the, in the middle nineties. Instead, what were we doing? Planning war as usual, planning a war, secretly planning wars, planning wars. And there are a particular type of human beings in this galaxy, in this universe, that have particular type of skills that can pick up our thoughts. Okay, whether you want to accept that or not, you don't have to. Okay, um, but there are a particular type of human beings, advanced human beings, that can pick up our thoughts. Okay, now they were the ones that can pick up our thoughts were the ones that were supposed we were supposed to make contact with quote unquote in the 70s. Yes, in the in the 70s. But that didn't come that didn't go through. That failed. That venture failed. So we so thankfully, you know, you know, we all make mistakes. Okay, we all have to learn from our mistakes. And those particular advanced human beings in the 70s made some mistakes. And that's fine. That's what you have to do. But someone someone knew that they were making mistakes, but they didn't want to interfere. They wanted these, these you know, these quote-unquote advanced human beings to figure it out on their own. Okay, and thus they did. So that's why when there was supposed to be an event happening in the late 90s, almost to the year 2000, uh, that was basically called off because the particular type of vi visitors that were supposed to meet with us, they didn't have that capability of understanding our thoughts. They fig they figured they paid more attention to what we were saying. I want peace, okay? You know, right? We give people the benefit for the uh, of the doubt, don't don't we? We all do. If someone says I want peace, okay, what do you? You, you expect that they want peace, or if they say they want love, you expect them to say, okay, but I told you about the contradictions between our thoughts and our voice, and, oh, the words that are coming out of our mouths. And I was reading re a report yesterday, and that, that brings me to this. Um, some people are, and this, these are the word, this is the word that, that was brought up to describe these some certain type of people. Some people are sophisticated liars. Okay, and if you don't have the capability of reading their minds, complicated is another word that can be used. Complex, okay. Uh, if you don't have the, the the capabilities and to to know what's going on in someone's thought, you're gonna take their word for it, right? But then we we were failing because we were not holding people accountable for what was they were saying especially when we realized we weren't getting the results, right? We have been in war for forever, okay? So, um, so because that event didn't happen, certain things didn't, did not align up properly, okay? So that meant there was a course correction in our existence, in our reality, that is on a cosmic 
level. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're not going to accept that because they are not logical, rational, reasonable. Okay, they don't know how to have the, they don't have the right thinking modes. Okay, they don't know that you're supposed to be thinking out of, thinking along with your sensings. And bring in some abstract, bring in some objective, bring it, you know, be grounded in your reality. That's how you know if something's true or not. If all of those factors are there and you, so whatever you see, you see, whatever you hear, you hear. And whatever you sense and receive, you sense and receive. There is no hallucination. There is no delusional. It's all practical, practical and logical, rational. And, and, and I mean, it's all there. It's my point. And just because, like I said, and I'm going to keep saying this to certain people, just because you can't see it or you're not hearing it, sensing and receiving it, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. All right? So, but I just want to go ahead and say this to this particular person. Um, I, I sense and receive your, your support for me, and I appreciate that so much. I sense and receive your acknowledgement of me, even though you're doing it in a silent way revolution in a silent revolutionary way I appreciate it I sense and receive it um, we do connect and we do align with people whether anyone want to say wants to accept it or not but in most cases we know that sometimes we just have to let it be let it be because uh, you know we want to keep our our uh, we don't want anyone to invade our consciousness as they are now you know like we love to invade other countries with war we love to invade others with their with our consciousness as well literally figuratively metaphorically so um, I just want to say yeah so things are happening for a reason and I think you know and a lot of genuine a lot of genuine like-minded people know that and so like I said I appreciate you know, the, the, the genuine uh, like-mindedness of people that are, fo that are listening to me, resonate with me, understand with me, but you, you know, you keep quiet because you know the implications of saying, saying certain things that I'm saying, you know, because a lot of you work in all walks of life, have all types of jobs, you know, uh, come from different cultural backgrounds but you understand what I'm saying and, and talking about is true okay because you are part of it you know a lot of us like I said there was a lot uh, there were several groups of one what do you call them the one four fours there were several groups of those uh, human beings some went their own way created created their own thing so I just want to say to this person again, <laughs> I'm going to talk more about this stuff later, but I just want to say to you, I'm, I, 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 um, I admire you. Uh, you. You are courageous. Uh, you are um, amazing. You know, you know, there's not enough adjectives to describe you. You are trail, you know, you are a trailblazer as well. And again, the young people are going to look up to you, especially the women. And, um, you know, be so proud to know that they had that type of modeling in their lives. And, and so, you know, so everything is, you know, is unstoppable. Sadly, uh, because of a, the destruction of our climate and this and that and the other, a lot of people are going to be experiencing a whole lot of shifting in their, uh, in their realities. That's literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, where it's going to be, um, it's about survival. And it's about, you know, getting through these, uh, these difficult times we have, you know, before us. So I just want to say to this person, congratulations. You know, you're, you're, you know, like I said, you're amazing. Um, you know, um, I don't know what happened per se. And, uh, I hope to one day find out from you if you choose to tell me, but you don't have to, you know, um, I think you understand that this is what is happening now is more important than, you know, <laughs> you know, those kind of things that we were, we were always, that we were concerned about prior to, uh, uh, the year 2000 or 98 or whatever. Right. So, uh, 
congratulations, like I said, and I appreciate you with your silent support of me. And I appreciate you, what you're doing for the world, what you're doing for young people, spe more specifically young women. And, um, you know, you, you deserve everything that you have. <laughs> and chances are, if, if we had come together, uh, it, it would not have allowed you to unmask, you know, that genius you have and the craft and creativity that you have and the impact that you're making, okay? So I wanna go ahead and send peace and love to you. I wanna send out universal love to all and know that, you know, sometimes things do not make sense, but at the, if you're doing everything the right way, it will reveal you, it will reveal itself to you and no one has to know. Peace and love and trust me. I'll be back. <laughs>